sure it was here. What? That we were to wait. He said by the tree. Do you see any others? What is it? I don't know. I'll be Where are the leaves? It must be there. <laughs> and perhaps it's not the season. Looks to me more like a bush. A shrub. A bush. Hey, why are you insinuating? Did he come to the wrong place? He should be here. He didn't say for sure he'd come. And if he doesn't come, we'll come back tomorrow. Or the day after tomorrow. Possibly. And so that point is that he comes. You merciless! He came here yesterday. Ah, no, there you are. Why are we all the way up here in the back here? I told you, I hate being hemmed in. I need the space. I always sit back here. Close to the crapper, though. Well, I'm glad to see our highbrow surroundings have not adversely affected your eloquence. Well, it works out, too, because I may need constant updates on what the fuck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they waiting for you? Godot. It's the name of the play. Godot? Godot. Don't you read your program? I thought it was Godot. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced Godot. I've been saying go nuts. <laughs> or you're waiting for the wrong one. Besides, the guy on PBS pronounced it the dope, so it's gotta be right. <laughs> well, if you saw it on PBS. <sighs> when is he coming? Shh. <laughs> he better hurry up, my ass is getting sore. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy then? What guy? This Godot guy. He's supposed to represent God. God? Yeah. Well, why not call him waiting for God then? That would take all the fun out of it, wouldn't it? Are you sure it's supposed to be God? Well, it makes sense. I mean, who else would these two guys be waiting for? Uh, these two putzes. Are you kidding me? I'm a fucking tailor. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> and what's with the hats? Hats? Yeah, the bowler hats they're wearing. They're French. French? Yeah, you know, French bowler hats. Hey, you mean freedom bowler hats, don't you? <laughs> what? Never mind. <laughs> I thought this was an Irish play. The guy who wrote it was Irish. He moved to France. Why? Why what? Why did he move to France? How should I know? You know, only French dudes would stand in the middle of the fucking road every night waiting for God. You know, probably surrender to him if he shows up. <laughs> I don't know this French rival on eBay the other day. Things in mint condition, never fire, only drop once. <laughs> Oh, is God. No? No. All right, who then? Not a who, a what. Okay. What? Irish independence. <laughs> oh, I'm impressed. How did you come up with that? Right over heard some guy in the lobby said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he's right, though, no wonder these poor bastards are so ragged. What's his interpretation of that? Yeah, I think I'll go for Irish independence for five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Shows up? No. He doesn't? Of course not. Well, how do you know? This is a famous play. Oh, so you know what's going to happen? Nothing happens. What? <laughs> Nothing happens. The guy they're waiting for never shows up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we still doing? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly out. That way they can make up their own meanings. They love that. So pointless is good. 
If you want good reviews, it is. Plus, it helps the writer to be a mysterious prick, too. Yeah, you know, a cranky, miserable, aloof. Why is that? Don't ask me. I'm not a critic. But it's true. All critical darlings are pricks. Was the dude who wrote this a prick? Beckett. Who? Beckett, the guy who wrote the play. Oh. Well, is he a prick? He's dead. That helps too, I suppose. <laughs> well, actually, it does. Dead mysterious prick writers are the best kind. He's <laughs> <laughs> a skinny, cantankerous, confusing guy. <laughs> when did he die? Uh, not sure. Not long ago. What? I said not long ago. You mean this is not some 18th century shit? <laughs> no, it was written in the 50s. The 1950s? You're shitting me. No. Well, somehow I can't see these dudes hanging out at Arnold's with Richie and the gang. <laughs> <laughs> was a 70s show. What? Happy Days. It was done in the 1970s. They didn't make it in the 1950s. Yes, I realized that. They were harking back to an earlier time. <laughs> yes, I grasped that point. <laughs> but uh, this is kind of the same thing, then. Huh? What? It's kind of like Happy Days. Well, I... I mean, the whole harking back to an earlier time. Because <laughs> 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 just because the thing came out in the 1950s doesn't mean it's taking place in the 1950s, does it? So it could be 18th century shit after all, then. What, what is this 18th century shit you keep talking about? You know, the, the confusing old-time Shakespeare thing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? All right. Everybody glad was on about Shakespeare and how great he is. But that's only because he's from another century, and being British doesn't hurt either. But if you wrote that, wherefore art thou shit today, people take it in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has the balls to admit it because he's supposed to be so brilliant. <laughs> this play was written in the 1950s. Yeah, so you said. It was. I know, but it takes place back in Shakespeare time. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what it does. <laughs> well, look at that set. Does that look like Myron Day Harris? <laughs> what is your point? Do I need one? It would help, yes. Well, what is Beckett's point? <laughs> not sure. <laughs> <laughs> that maybe he didn't have one either. He had one. He just made it symbolic. <laughs> <laughs> he deals in symbolism. Oh, he does? Yes. Well, what does Godot symbolize then? I told you, God. That's just your interpretation. That is my interpretation, yes. And you already said it could be the wrong one. It could be wrong, yes. I don't know what the man had in mind when he wrote it. So he could have been having a big laugh waiting for the fucking plumber to come over or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. I'm sure he had grand thoughts. Well, what makes you say that? He was brilliant. Brilliant? Yes, brilliant. Some say the greatest writer of the 20th century. Who says that? Critics. Why? Because the New York Times says so. Oh my God. 
<laughs> but what if the guy from the New York Times called him a wanker? Well, then we wouldn't all be sitting here then, would we? <laughs> That's my point exactly! I'm so you Sometimes. Listen, I've got to rely on a little feedback sometimes. You know, I can't go see every play that comes down the pike. Yeah, yeah, you got to pick your spot. Exactly! And you figured this Godot thing was a good bet. The guy from the New York Times says so. Plus, it's not every day a classic like this comes to our little town. So you're just a mindless drone swallowing whatever the New York Times tells you is worth it. Essentially, yes. A hundred times, too. Plus, the guy won the Nobel Prize, too. Who did? Yeah. For this shit? For his body of work. This is his most famous work. The whole Nobel Prize? Nobel Prize. I thought that was a Jimmy Carter thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Nobel Peace Prize. No, oh, this is different. This is the Nobel Prize. That's richer. And who votes for that? Critics. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, you know, man, I wish I was a critic. Charles Schultz would win the fucker if I was a Charles. <laughs> Charles Schultz. Yeah, the Beatles do. The cartoonist. I don't like your tone. I'm just trying to figure out to whom you're referring. Yes, the creator of Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Much better writer than this go-nut guy. Beckett! Beckett is the guy who wrote the play. Go-nut is who the characters are waiting. Yeah, 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 yeah. The dude who never shows up. And now you're getting it! Well, I'll take Linus and Lucy over this shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Linus said some interesting shit to say at least. These two were just rambling like a couple of homeless vagabonds. Actually, I think they are homeless vagabonds. How do you know? Well, you have them dressed. Well, maybe their clothes are only symbolic. You're <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> What else do you write besides this Godot thing? Lots of stuff. Is it all as fucking deadly dull as this? Shh! What? I'm trying to watch this. <laughs> what are they doing now? I'm not sure. I'm still waiting. <laughs> no. Oh, so you're really not missing anything by talking to me then, are you? I suppose not. <laughs> they do yap a lot, though. What are they talking about now? I don't know. It's kind of stream of consciousness stuff. Stream of who? A stream of consciousness, you know, rambling off the top of your head, saying the first thing that comes into your mind. Say, hey, let's do that then. <laughs> let's do the, the stream of consciousness thing. Uh, okay, uh, you start. This is fucking deadly dull. What is? This good old thing. Oh, that's what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not actually dull. What? I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> What's funny about it besides the hats? I don't know, them talking about hanging themselves from the tree and all that. I think it's actually kind of funny. Yeah, suicide talk is a riot. <laughs> come on, we're still doing the spring thing. It's your turn. Whatever comes into your head. Come on, come on. You don't see these good don't care. They're thinking they just blurt it out. Don't touch my head. Don't touch me. Hey, Kevin, you're not one of these Beckett plays. I'm thinking. You're not supposed to think. You're supposed to say whatever comes into your mind. I'm thirsty. What? I'm thirsty. That's what I'm thinking. Well, go get a drink. I can't. Why? I might miss something. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Just wait some more. 
She don't want to die. I know. Get laid. I know. What the? Nothing. Nothing happens. Then just wait for the dough. Now, I'm not going to say any more about the second act. I'll spoil it for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, forget it. <laughs> What is going on with that? 